What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we are back in the world of Space Hulk trying to see what we've got going on here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. There are things for us to take care of in the derelict. I believe that there is a horde headed towards us right now. I don't know if I should be picking up all this stuff. I don't know. I kind of feel like I should. Let's go pick up all the components and things. Like they might be helpful later on. We haven't found any clues or samples, but maybe someday. Brother Sergeant, there is a detected hostile presence ahead. It appears to be a group of gene stealers. Seek out and purge the Xenos. Okay, we'll get on that. We'll, we'll take care of the Xenos. Don't you worry about that. The Xenos are gonna get dealt with. And so we've got that right there. We can convert that, target a Terminator. Next melee attack is a success. That's not a terrible idea. We've already got the next shot as a success, though. I don't know if there's a way Brother Armando, Brother Madriel, Brother Caranial, and then we've got Brother Lazaro. Who was it that didn't make it out last time? I thought there would be, like, continuity. We can also go with weapons? Oh, we can have, hold up, hold up, hold up. I was going to say, we can have, like, multiples? So, efficient carving. You get a plus one for frontal melee. Melee on interactive objects are always successful. Yeah, that's what I thought that it did. Lightning Claws are pretty much terrible. Like, I would never run Lightning Claws. They're a bad plan in Space Hulk. They never work out. Trust me, I know what you're thinking. I can make Lightning Claws work. No! Just bring a Storm Shield. Just bring a Storm Shield and a Thunder Hammer. It's, it's a much better choice. I've never found a situation where I've thought, I wish that I had, I wish that I had Lightning Claws right now. So, Lethal Surge, we get plus one die and plus one in frontal melee. That's a little bit better. You get to roll two dice and I think take the higher value, maybe? I don't know. What's in the modules menu? What can I do with modules? Nothing? There's the Thunder Hammer right there. That's the stuff. So, if we put him on guard, he can re-roll the die. And then on block, he gets minus one die. But you need that's why you need the Storm Shield to go along with it. The Storm Shield makes it so I think the enemy has to hit, like, multiple sixes in a row in order to kill you. Like, they need, like, two sixes in a row, and even then you get to re-roll them or something like that for the shield. I don't recall, but I remember the Storm Shield being straight god tier, unless you have just the worst luck on Earth in Space Hulk. I, I remember the Storm Shield is just basically like a giant F you to a corridor, like nobody can get through, unless they get incredibly lucky. Like, amazingly lucky. Unbelievably lucky. I guess I could throw one person. Does the Chain Fist use up? I was going to say, the Chain Fist should go in the offhand. Should I put the Chain Fist on all of them? What's the difference with the Power Fist? Melee weapon, roll a die, re-roll if you would lose melee. Oh, we only have one Chain Fist. We don't have multiples. Okay, we only have the one. We could also give him a Storm Bolter, but honestly, having one of the heavy guys is really helpful. Having two heavy guys is even better, because then you can give one a Flamer. And you can give one an Assault Cannon, and the Flamer in Space Hulk is god tier as well. The Flamethrower is really, really good. I highly recommend the Flamethrower in Space Hulk. It is fantastic for really messing with the Gene Stealer player's day. Alright, let's go purge a Xeno over here. A large group of Gene Stealers emerges from the walls. The crawling mass prevents us from moving forward. We cannot delay any longer. The confrontation is inevitable. Bless the weapon and attack. For the Emperor. For the Emperor indeed, brother. Let us put on our blood boots and prepare for blood war. So kill all Gene Stealers. You have 12 turns. Okay. I think that should be alright. I probably should have upgraded a card or something, but like, I don't know. I'll probably upgrade the sergeant's cards before I do anything else. He seems to have the best cards by comparison to everybody, so... The, the guaranteed melee is just one of those things that makes me feel good. Do I not have an apothecary? They said I got an apothecary. Where's my apothecary? I wanted to, I wanted to rock the apothecary, but maybe that deploys a little bit later. Maybe that's further on in the storyline. So here we are. In the middle of the Hulk. They have spawns there. There. Actually, it's just a bunch of blips, dude. I think we're good. I don't think we have to worry about it. Those aren't spawns. Those are just blips. Assault Marine will take this right-hand side. Frankly, I may just wait for them to come to me. I don't think there's any reason not to follow the Astartes here and just play it safe. Okay. 
Yeah, let's play it safe. That was absolutely not what I wanted. Oh man. How close is he? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He can get close, but hopefully we can stop him on the next turn. Send some back up that way. You take care of that door right there, please. I want that to no longer be existent. Put you on Overwatch. You go right there, and then our last guy is in the position that I want him to be already. He doesn't need any help. We're just going to turtle up on this one because I think this is going to be an easy peasy lemon squeezy mission. I don't think we're going to struggle too much with it. You know, further down the hallway than I would have liked. It's going to take us two AP to knock him out. And then he's in an attack position as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eh, it'll be okay. I think we'll be all right. What I'm worried about right here is the little heel turn that he has to do that's going to cost us an AP in order to get through. Let's go ahead and we're going to convert this guy for the squad AP. Do it for the squad! So there's our gene stealer. He's popped out of the corner like some kind of spooky ruffian. He's kind of far down the hallway, though. I mean, now he's all over the hallway. He was far down the hallway. Now he's part of the decorations, I suppose. Uh, you go ahead and hold that overwatch right there. Technically, I could spread them back, like, to right here, and I could have a three-way overwatch. I'm going to get that ready for next turn. Let's have ourselves a little bit of a uh, menage a war, I guess. Perfect. So once I've got them settled in, we'll put them in this corner back here. And they'll go back to back, kind of Army of Two style. And hold off the enemy the best they possibly can. But it's only a couple of Gene Stealers. Like, this is not that bad. Unless something weird happens, and there's some kind of modifier to this mission, I don't think it's going to be that bad. I think it should be manageable. I mean, there is the possibility that the enemy forces us to go after them, and they just hang out around the corner, and they never dedicate to the attack. But... I'm going to purposefully leave my overwatch open to see if I can draw them into this kill box on the next turn. May not be the smartest decision I've ever made, but hey, it's a decision. That's what I was hoping would happen. That's exactly what I was hoping would happen. We should have enough shots right here. We've got 12 shots. We just got to land a 6 on 2 of those shots. Oh, three of those shots. Weak. Okay. Mm, plus two to melee. Let's just convert it for right now. One down. Two down. Mm, he's a lucky little ducky right there. He's a lucky little ducky. How dare you make me sweat like that? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I can't leave this Overwatch open. I can't do it. I don't think they're actually consciously pooling. I think what they're doing is they're trying to avoid my Overwatch lanes. I think. Alright, so what we're going to have to do over here is we're going to have to use a little bit of Skullduggery to make this work. We're going to have to exploit the AI a little bit. Just a little bit, not a lot of bit. Can I not convert that right now? I uh, say I wanted to convert that card so I get some extra AP, but you can't always get what you want. All right, so we'll move these guys back over to here. I'm loving the modeling on all the characters. It looks really good. Like, I like how battle damaged and kind of how rusty they look and everything else. They look great. Uh, we're going to leave that Overwatch open for right now. He's going to push. Is he? What's he doing right now? Oh, there's another one right there. That's reasonably unfortunate. I didn't think there was going to be two. That's okay. We should be able to... We should be able to make something happen over here. Finally. Got the little guy. 
He's got no more action points. Let's see if he can make the shot. There we go. Enemy eliminated. The mission's a success. I figured that one would be easy. I didn't think there was going to be any unforeseen problems on that one. So we took care of business. Kill all of them in six turns. Good stuff. Let's go ahead and run around. The Hulk is infested with alien filth. Countless gene stealers lie in wait for us throughout the wreck. Let us not stray from our missions, brothers. Okay. Let me upgrade some cards real fast. I would like to upgrade for the Emperor. So choose a card. On the next turn, you get plus two command points for each Gene Stealer that is killed. Okay. Doesn't cost anything. That makes it kind of like a... It makes it a low-risk card. I mean, I like that. Target a Terminator, he gets four action points. That's just too valuable not to have. That's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to upgrade this guy to Inspiration. Target Terminator gets plus two on his next shot. There is no fear and conviction. Target Terminator, he gets plus three in his next melee. That's not bad either. That one's free, which makes it a pretty good Hail Mary card. However, plus two on the next shot is nice as well, but we'll kind of diversify a little bit. We'll diversify ever so slightly. And we are out of componentry right now, so we ain't doing nothing at the moment. Gene Stealer's incoming. Okay, the Auspex device reads multiple life forms ahead. Seek out and purge the Xenos. They are gathering... Oh my god, they're not gathering up ahead. They're gathering everywhere. They're gathering all over the place. They're coming from the walls. We gotta fight them again. So we gotta protect an object for eight turns and three units must survive. That's good, because Terminators do really well on the defensive. Alright, you ready everybody? Let's do this thing. Sorry, I had a little crash right there. The game decided to die on me, but it wasn't the game's fault. It was my recording software's fault. So don't blame the game. It's one of those things that happens with DirectX 11 stuff. Every now and again, I gotta swap recording softwares real fast. Luckily enough, it was recoverable and it didn't scrap the whole episode. Sometimes what happens is the game will crash and it'll corrupt the visual recording. And when that happens, it's just like, oof, oof. Because then I got a big gap in the middle of the videos where like we did a mission and a bunch of other stuff and there's no way for me to recover it. Hate it when that happens. A look into the life of a YouTuber and the things that we hate. Also mosquitoes. We hate those too. I just want to add that to the list while we're hanging out for a second. I want you to know that mosquitoes are definitely worthy of an exterminatus. I don't like them. Where I live, we got these little green bastards that are like green and black spotty. They've got like stripes, like little black and white ze or like little black and green zebras. Don't like it. Don't like it one little bit. And we can lock a bulkhead over there. Ooh. Ooh. We've got a tarantula over there. Or a scorpion. Okay, it's not a tarantula, it's a scorpion. Does that console... I wonder which console controls the turrets. We've got to defend the objective? What's the objective that I'm defending? Out of curiosity. Let's see. Protect the marked object. I'm not seeing anything marked in any way that anything else is not marked except for that right there. It's got like a little box around it, maybe. Maybe that's the one that we've got to do. That's a that's a very risky deployment right there. I don't know how I feel about that. That's kind of a that's a spoopy deployment right there, and I don't feel good about it. We got a bunch of rubble on that side too. That could potentially be another spawn. Hmm. I mean, deployment-wise, we don't really have a choice. Place the sergeant there. Place him there. He'll activate the console in just a minute. And we'll kind of adapt everybody else around as necessary to make this work. That looks like it. I'll start clearing the rubble over here, too, and I'm really hoping that that doesn't have a Gene Stealer spawn underneath it. Definitely don't want that. So you got a spawn over there. You got a spawn. Can I destroy that? That looks like it might be targetable. Maybe. 
What does this do? Go activate it. I want to find out what it does. I think that's going to be kind of mission critical is like, what does this button do? Did it just lock the door? Is that all that it did? It'd be cool if it had like a little pending. Hmm. Those are all linked back to this console right here. So let's maybe activate that for defensive purposes. So as far as I understand it, those should all be online now, right? Those should all be ready to go? I guess we'll find out the hard way. There's really no way to know until we test it out. I'm going to start clearing some of this debris over here. Alright, so the debris has been removed. I would like for you to be right there, just covering that spawn. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, they can't get to me and attack, but they can get to me. I'm not gonna let this get to me. I'm not gonna let this get to me. I'm a proud member of the Imperium. It's gonna be okay. I don't know if I want to hold this room or if I want to hold this corridor. I can't decide. I guess I'll dither for right now. Let's go ahead and convert that for some squad AP for later. So we have a blip. He's crawled up out of that weird little container over there. A blood container, as it were. Although, the Ultramarines were here first, so we gotta check the paperwork and make sure that they doesn't, didn't designate everything a blood container for... Oh, that's bad. That's really, really bad. That's super bad. I don't like that at all. We have an issue. Oof. Luckily, we got lucky right there, so good. On this side, we've got to make some hard choices. Three AP to go to right there. We have squad AP, though. One squad AP. Not a lot of AP to work with. Oh, there's another one right there, too. That's enjoyable. Super excited about that. So the choice is, do we fire or do we overwatch? I think we overwatch. Lucked out a little bit right there. Yeah, go ahead and overwatch, man. That's the best we can do for that corridor right now. I should have busted up out of here. Yeah, let's get the sergeant over here. Yeah. Yeah. Subjective isn't looking hyper secure right now. I do not like the predicament we are currently in. Uh. That's pretty bad. Yeah. That's uh, that's pretty terrible. That's pretty bad. Of all the things that could have gone wrong, that's pretty high on the list of things that suck. Got a lot of bad luck right there and a lot of bad rolls. 
But then again, I told you that was going to be a bad decision. We got caught, and that's what happens in Space Hulk when you get caught out of position. That's what happens. Oh, the doors are closed. Why are the doors closed? Oh, because the Gene Stealers took that position. Oh, no, I know what they're trying to do. Oh, no. Yeah, I know exactly what they're trying to do right now. I see what they're trying to do. They're going to sweep this direction. I've got a couple of turns to get this guy into a better spot. And hopefully make this work for me before this nastiness. Oh, never mind. Those aren't blips. Never mind. Those aren't blips. We're okay. I thought maybe we had blips. I was worried about the possibility. I really wish I hadn't done that. What does that do? Auto shoot on move. Hmm. That used to just be a thing that you got. Yeah, I think retaking that position is probably a good idea. But who knows anymore? Like, we've kind of lost half of our forces at this point. I shouldn't have moved him. I shouldn't have moved him. I should have left him there. But I was worried they were going to sweep this way. I think this might be a TPK. Yup. That guy's definitely dead. And I think we had to keep... Three units alive. So yeah, I think we're hosed. I think we're hosed. It's okay, like I can re-roll it, it's not that big of a deal, and we can start over and try it again next episode, but still a bit of a pain. Got one squad AP. Either way, he's going down on the next turn, unless he gets really, really lucky. Yeah. I think that's a Ripper Rooney. Because it's going to take him two AP to get back to there, it's going to take him three to turn. And we've only got one squad AP. Hope for the best. Hope for the best. One, well, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we can get to there. Are you on Overwatch still? Yeah, you be on you be on Overwatch. Doesn't really matter altogether that much. I'm gonna move him up too just in case so that he can get like an extra wide frame shot here. Just in the off chance this does not go the way that I want it to. Uh, we're gonna have to take this position right here. We're gonna have to three-way it. So Assault Cannon's gonna have to pick a primary direction to defend. And the other people, this hallway right here is probably where I'll put him, but both of these are equally sketchy on either side. I think that's a wipe. We're gonna need some. We're gonna need some pretty good dice rolls. Losing control of the assault cannons was a problem. Oh, really? He cleared like all of them. Well, there's a little bit of good luck. There's a little bit of good luck. It'll depend if this guy can get to him right here. Some of the guns are still shooting. Wait, it's my turn again? Oh, nice. They wouldn't cross the Overwatch. Sweet. We may have a chance yet. Maybe. Dep 
Depends what I can pull off here. Yeah, just keep shooting, man. Just keep shooting. The more you shoot, the happier I will be with you. I should have used his 1 AP to back him up to right there. My space, my, my space Hulk senses are not as good as they used to be, everybody. They're not as good as they used to be. I already converted a card, right? Yep, I already converted a card. I needed him to back up to like right there so that this guy could take the overwatch on the hallway and swap out on him. They didn't want to cross the overwatch last time, so keep it going. I'm interested to see how this plays out. Ah, oh, with the chainsaw! Righteous brother! Reduce them to the soil. Show them no quarter, Battle Brothers. Dispense the pain of suffering upon them. So it looks like they have to have two to get brave enough to try to push on me right there. This is... This is sketchy. This is very, very sketchy. Among all the things I would describe as sketchy, this is pretty high on the list. This is not where I like to be as a Space Marine player. Not at all. I don't think we got them right there. They are starting to mass up a little bit. So I need two AP to move back to there. All right, man. Do your thing. Yeah, that's bad luck. I would I would accept that as bad luck. Absolutely. I would accept that as even worse luck. Uh yeah, convert it. I need the extra AP. This is definitely not good. Definitely not good. We turn to there. Fire one. No, he can't. Never mind. So it depends if they decide to break off to the right right here, which would be the smart decision, and that would be mission over. It depends on whether the AI is dedicated to the... If the AI is dedicated to the objective or if they're dedicated to kills. Yeah, there it is. That's about what I thought. You killed him? Really? Well, good for you, man. You and your baller dice rolls. Good for you. I kind of feel like he's still going to die, though. We got another one coming down, so... That was just... We had bad luck in that bottom room, and it all folded up. Yeah. There you go. My name is Splattercat. This is Space Hulk Tactics. We just had bad luck in that bottom area. We just had really bad luck in that bottom area. So what happens after we lose? Anything? We just we just lose components, that's it? Oh, that's not that bad. Anyways, I'll see y'all later. If you wanted to get this game, it's down below in the description. Take care and hi do everybody.